Hey guys, we're here at the Museum of Natural History in New York about to learn a little bit more about the exosuit. This big guy behind me. Uh, it's a new diving suit that scientists can say can allow divers to go down a thousand feet underwater. What does it entail? We'll find out. The exosuit is a one-of-a-kind aluminum diving suit that allows divers to plunge more than a thousand feet underwater. This summer, scientists are using the suit to study unexplored depths of marine life off the coast of New England. The suit is six and a half feet tall and weighs more than 500 pounds. Its oxygen system gives 50 hours of life support. Scientists will use the suit to examine species that emit biofluorescence, a phenomenon that occurs when deep sea organisms absorb short wavelength light and then re emit it at a longer wavelength. The result is an eerie green or red glow. Scientists will collect the protein provided by these organisms and inject it into test subjects. Doing so, they can monitor cell activity, maybe even detect cancer. We can take DNA from any organism. Anything we see we like, we can take it and put it where we want and get it to do that in a new environment or even change it a little bit. So that's what my laboratory does, sort of protein engineering. You can put these proteins into cells and you shine lights on them and it will cause the cells to become activated electrically. So you can literally play like a piano the cells in the brain how you want it. You can simulate scents and odors in animals by just shining light. You know, we, we can then play that light back as just like a tiny movie, just bright and dark spots on a screen onto that surface of tissue and the animal will do what it thinks it should do when it smells that particular odor. So if you tell it to go left with orange and right with cinnamon, you can play the cinnamon smell and it will do the proper cinnamon response. So it's essentially, you know, the matrix. It's essentially introducing a thought that never happened to the animal. It's introducing a sensory experience that the animal never had. And the goal of that is to ultimately be able to restore sight, restore hearing, and restore blindness of people who have fully damaged sensory systems. Because the organisms usually dwell between one and 3,000 feet underwater, scientists have only been able to observe them through remote instruments. But now, the exosuit will finally allow them to observe these creatures in their natural habitat, an environment that's deep, dark, and scarily quiet. 